everyone so today we're going to be making banana pudding milkshake so stay tuned if you want to see how i make it so now i'm going to be adding blue bell ice cream i'm going to be using banana pudding flavor and it's up to you how much ice cream you want to add it just depends on how much of a milkshake you're going to make So now I'm going to be using the vanilla instant pudding. So it's up to you how much you want to add. I added half of the box, but it's up to you depending on how sweet you want it. Next we're going to be adding one banana to our blender. Now we're going to be adding some vanilla extract. Next add one cup of milk. Next, I'm going to be adding some vanilla wafers. Now it's up to you how many you want to add. Right now I'm just breaking the cookies apart so that the blender can get it easier. Now turn on your blender and blend everything together. Now I'm just going to get a spoon and I'm going to mix it and make sure that it's the right consistency. Now it's up to you uh, how you want the consistency to be, but to me I think I'm going to add a little bit more milk. So here I go, I added half a cup of milk. Now start blending everything again and then check the consistency again and make sure that that's how you want it. It's up to you. Now the consistency for me was still a bit too thick so I added another half a cup of milk. We're almost there so once again I'm going to blend everything together one more time and then I'm going to see if it's the right consistency for me. Okay guys, so I finally got it to the way I wanted, to the consistency that I wanted, and now I'm gonna get my cups ready to pour everything in it. 
But first, real quick, I'm gonna pour some cookies in a bowl and I'm just going to break them apart. So now I'm going to be pouring my milkshake in these cute little jars. You can get these at Walmart. Um, I think I got mine from a restaurant actually, but they do sell them at Walmart. Okay, so now as you can see, I did not fill up the whole jar because I'm going to be adding some cookies in the middle and then I'm going to be adding some more of my milkshake. Now I'm just getting my second little jar and I'm going to be doing the same thing all over again. I'm going to add some of my milkshake in it and then I'm going to be adding some cookies in the middle and then I'm just going to add the rest of the milkshake. And as you can see right there, my consistency isn't too too thick and it's not too too watery so i think that's the perfect consistency for me but it really is up to you on how you like it there so now I'm going to be adding some whipped cream on top to decorate it and make it look cute Remember those cookies we set aside in a bowl? Well now you're going to sprinkle them on top of the whipping cream and make it look cute. It's really up to you what you want to add on top, but I'm going to be adding some strawberries on top, some cut up strawberries, and I'm going to be adding a vanilla wafer on top too but you can also add some sliced up bananas on top if you like i wish i could have done that but i just decided to add the strawberries instead that's it you guys it's finally done it looks delicious it's beautiful and it's really yummy you can make these for your friends make them at home for your kids um, it's really fun to make and it's delicious. So thank you so much for watching. I will be having next videos coming up. But thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.